Number two. smaller sides so that would be 50 plus 75 and you see if that's bigger than 85 and it is we can tell that without even adding so yes this is a triangle Okay, so now we have to determine what type of triangle it is. So that method is 50 squared plus 75 squared. And I'm not going to put anything in between here because we don't know yet if it's bigger, smaller, or equal to. So 50 squared. So 50 squared plus 75 squared is 8,125. 85 squared is 7,225. So remember, if the two smaller sides are bigger, which in this case they are, it makes an acute triangle. So the answer to number two is acute. Number five, first we need to determine if it's a triangle. Two smaller sides, two plus 2.5 and then three on the other side. So we have 4.5 is bigger than three. So yes, it is a triangle. All right, now we have to see what type it is. So two squared, plus 2.5 squared compared to 3 squared. So it's 4 plus 6.25 and compared to 9. So this becomes 10 0.25 which is bigger than 9 so we have another acute triangle so for number 4 we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem this side is A this side is B and this side is C squared. Remember C is opposite the right angle. So we have 60 squared plus B squared equals 65 squared. Thirty-six hundred. plus b squared equals 42 or 4,225. Subtract from both sides. And we get b squared equals 625. Take the square root of both and we get B equals 25. Number 8, we'll call this A, B, hypotenuse is always C. So 9 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 
181 plus 144 equals c squared. 225 equals c squared. Take the square root of both. to get rid of this square. And we have c equals 15. Okay, number 10. How far up on a building will a 12-foot ladder reach if the ladder's base is 4 feet from the building? Round your answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so 4 feet, we'll call that a squared plus b squared, because we don't know the height of the building. We do know the hypotenuse, which is 12 feet. So we have 16 plus b squared equals 144. Subtract 16 from both sides. And we get b squared. equals 128. Take the square root of both and we get b equals 11.3. Number two on the review. What congruence is needed to prove RSP is congruent to RSQ? So we already know this is congruent. So we don't have enough information to be able to say side, side, side. So it can't be D. For A, PR congruent to RQ, that's not side, angle, side. That's side, side, or angle, side, side. There is no angle, side, side in geometry, so it's not A. B. PS, SQ. So that would have to be angle, side, angle. If we prove another side, that's not going to help us. We've already got one side. We don't need a second side, so it's not B. But if we prove that PR is equal to PQ, then we know that these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg. So the answer is C. Number three, an angle ABC BX bisects ABC, ABC, the big angle. That means that this and this are equal. Angle A is 110, angle C is 40. How are we going to find this little bitty angle? Well, if we find the whole thing, then we just cut it in half. For the whole big triangle, we have two of the angles. We have this angle A, this angle C. So the way we find the whole angle B, this whole big angle, is 110 plus 40, which is 150. All three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we just subtract 150 from 180. We get 30. Now that's the big angle, A, B, C, but they're asking about A, B, X. So we know these are equal. We just divide 30 by 2. We cut it in half, and we know that angle A, B, X equals 15. And 